that folk music that you play there? What is that? <laughs> How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Stud Circle who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never, never heard, heard no horses. <laughs> <laughs> Found you in a box of letters Underneath an old blue sweater You haven't changed But what's really strange Is that I never threw you Spent the years beneath my bed Beside that book I never read Why did I keep you around Like my old wedding gown After you left my heart for dead I don't have room for you anymore not even one corner of a dresser drawer I know it took me far too But it's time your words got gone The paper's edges are worn and thin Like my memories have forgotten I read between the and see that all the signs are where they've always been. I don't have room for you anymore. You should have gone when you walked out the door. to the flame and watch the pages fade away Now my bedroom is all bare A wooden floor and one rocking chair There's a window opening And the clean smell of spring And I sleep soundly there
All right, all right. The show is Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest is New Jersey-based singer-songwriter Sharon Goldman. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. This our is so pleasure. Nice. I appreciate it. So is that autobiographical? This particular song? Yes. In a way. I think I came up with it. Um, I was doing some spring cleaning or something like that, and I came upon a box under my bed. I always kept old letters like from my the crush on the boy I had from camp or <laughs> my sister or whatever. And I found some old stuff from my ex. And, you know, every year I would go through this box, you know, every year or so, and I wouldn't throw the letters away or the cards away. And then one year I was like, why do I still have this stuff? <laughs> and I tossed it. I still kept the letter from the crush on the boy I had from camp, but, but the ex got the ex. <laughs> so it was kind of like, you know, a, a cathartic. healthy, cathartic. Yeah, throwing away of stuff, so, yeah. Great. Yeah. What else would you like to play for us? Um, well, a lot of people think this next song that I'm going to play is biographical, and I'm not autobiographical, um, and I'm not saying there aren't elements, but mm -hmm. it actually uh, came out of a songwriting challenge. I love to have deadlines and a, a challenge to write, you know, a song about whatever, so I go to a, a, a songwriting camp up in Ashokan in the Catskills. It's called Summer Songs. And uh, we, I was taking a songwriting class, and there was a, a challenge based on, uh, you randomly got an action, a place, and people in the song, and you had to write a song about it. So I sort of randomly got uh, that I had to write a song about um, two young girls, age 9 and 11, in a coffee shop stealing something. <laughs> and I was like, no problem. <laughs> I got this. So... The very next day, I had written the song. It was one of the easiest ones to come to me. So this is called Short Brown Hair. At the Galaxy Diner, my little sister with the long blonde ponytail. Her name is Jenny, pretty as a new penny, and Mama's favorite without fail. She's leaning onto our daddy, who calls her his lady and his darling Clementine. And my little sister, her skin is like peaches resting in the sweet sunshine. But I just sip my chocolate milk like I don't care. And I sink down deep into my chair. In the window's reflection, I see nothing special there. Just short brown hair. I don't remember what I was thinking when I stole her jelly beans. I put them in my back pocket and ran like a rocket. I just wanted to be mean. Now at the Galaxy Diner, I sit beside her with her Barbie in between. When I look at Jenny, that bag of candy feels like a rock in my blue jeans. But I just sit and look at her like I don't care. All I think about is it's not fair. When people see her, they just stop and stare. But not at my short brown hair. My short brown hair. My short brown hair. At the Galaxy Diner, my little sister with the beautiful blue eyes. Smiles up at my mother, one pretty girl to another, like she's won the biggest prize. I get a grilled cheese, but nobody sees me. It's like I'm not even here. Maybe deep in my french fries, there'll be a sign that I don't need to disappear. So I eat those jelly beans like I don't care. And they taste perfectly sweet, I swear. I'm almost blinded by the window's glare. They're like
lights my short brown hair my short brown hair my short brown hair my short brown hair my short brown Nicely done. Thank you. Now so you, as soon as my mother heard the song and I went up to her, I said, what did you think, Mom? She said, I know that's not true. Your sister has green eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned that you like deadlines. I do. I, it's very helpful to me. I'm, I'm by profession and my day job, I've historically been a magazine writer and editor. So always good with the deadline so I'm always up if someone gives me a challenge or I have a like a songwriting group to go to where we have to bring in a new song um, that that always helps me motivation um, motivation I'm less motivated if I just have to wait for the spirit to move me <laughs> that doesn't happen very often <laughs> once in a while but what else would you like to play um, well actually now that I think of it this this next song is a, a fairly new tune and and it it, it comes from a, a, a challenge that I gave myself. I, I write a blog about songwriting. It's, it's at um, songwritingscene.com. And uh, on, on this blog, I, I, give, I give myself and our readers little challenges. So I came up with one where I said, everybody has to write a song that has one of the days of the week in it. Um, so, so I came up with that. And then, I, and then in addition to that deadline, I, I brought it into um, Jack Hardy's uh, the late great Jack Hardy's songwriting exchange in in New York City um, and brought it there for folks to listen to so um, I won't give it away in terms of uh, what it's about but it's kind of about uh, the ideas about you never know what's on around the corner basically so it's called Tuesday Morning Sun <laughs> city is wide awake, September daybreak. I sip my coffee on the front steps and think of our mistakes. You sit silent running fingers through your hair. We are unaware. That Tuesday morning sun, Tuesday morning blue sky, Tuesday morning sun will soon turn to fire. Plane passes overhead, flying southbound. A butterfly beats its wings, turning circles around. I don't know what to say anymore. What are we? Tuesday morning sun, Tuesday morning blue sky, Tuesday morning sun will soon turn to fire. Crashes and crumbling as the smoke rises downtown. The butterfly stumbles and finally falls down to the ground. 
A chill makes me spill my coffee And suddenly you say What now? What now? A late summer breeze billows through the air. We are unaware that Tuesday morning sun, Tuesday morning blue sky, Tuesday morning will soon turn to fire, to fire. Thank you. Great. Thank you. We should let folks know how they can get in touch with you for more information about your recordings and your com upcoming appearances. Absolutely. Um, I have a website at uh, SharonGoldmanMusic.com. You can email me at Sharon at SharonGoldmanMusic. Um, find out everything I'm doing there and I'll be around New Jersey and New York and always looking for new stuff. So, yeah. Okay, and your latest yeah. recording is? And my latest recording uh, was released last year. It's called Sleepless Lullaby. Um, features some people folks might know from the, uh, around the tri-state area, Pat Wichter, uh, Carol Ann Solabello, uh, Meg Braun, uh, Cheryl Prashker. Um, so I, I brought in the good peeps. Mark Dan did all the engineering work. So, yeah. Several of them have been. I know, I show. see it all, see it all here, yeah, yeah. Great. So, thank you so much for having me again. I really appreciate it. Our pleasure. Ah, let's see, so um, I feel like I definitely should play some sort of happy tune. <laughs> uh, since none of these have been so much so far, but I can do it, I can write a, I can write a good love song, I, I hope. Um, I, I used to be part of a, a little duo. It was called Sweet Bitters. Uh, I love doing harmonies. Um, and this was a song we put on our, on our CD that we recorded. And uh, kind of uh, harks back to where I used to live in Brooklyn. I moved to New Jersey about two years ago. And um, this is called Falling Into Place. Riding my bicycle up 7th Avenue on a late Tuesday afternoon. I'm heading home and I'm gonna see you real soon. The winter sunset hangs low in the sky, and only gravity keeps me from flying. Everything's falling into place It's January cold But it's warm like May The leaves are long grounded But I'm soaring into space Everything's falling into place night my bicycle fell on cold concrete on a broken down street don't make a difference I had no destination but then you showed me a sea of stars aligned and you pointed out the constellation Everything's falling into place. It's January cold, but it's warm like May. Traces of lamplight dancing on your face. Everything's falling into place. 
crashing down Left to sink or drown But I floated to the ground And then I was found I'm riding my bicycle up 7th Avenue by the early light of the moon I switch gears and I sing my favorite Beatles too Some force pulls me up that steep sloping hill I can see your blue eyes as you lean over the windowsill Everything's falling into place Thank you. We have time for like one and a half more songs. One and a half? Mm. <laughs> so why don't you pick one and tell us about it? All right. Well, and, and is this the one that you can accompany me on or is there one other one besides that? There's one other one. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to play another one from my, uh, from my last CD. And this is actually uh, a song... Um, this is a song written by a, a local singer-songwriter. Um, his name's Rich Deans. Um, some of you might know him. Do you He's know been him? a guest on the He's show. He's been a guest on the show. So uh, this is called House of Stone. I'm gonna build me a house of stone I'm gonna live in it all alone Complete with a concrete floor I'm not gonna build a door No one invited company To bring me heartache and misery Don't try to call me, don't even knock All the windows are solid rock I'm gonna build me a house of stone I'm gonna build me a house of stone I'm gonna build me a house of stone. I'm gonna build me a house of stone. I tried to live in a house of glass that was clearly not built to last. So I built me a house of brick. It fell apart like a house of sticks. Each time I raised a beam, somebody destroyed that tree. This time when I build my home, I'm gonna build me a house of stone. 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 I built my castle. On love and trust And watch them crumble into dust All my good intentions My sweat and blood They all got buried under rock and mud Gonna build me a house of stone I'm gonna live in it all alone Complete in a, a concrete floor. 
I'm not gonna build a door. No one invited company to bring me heartache and misery. Don't try to call me, don't even knock. All the windows are solid rock. I'm gonna build me a house of stone. 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 Very nicely done. Thank you. We have time to plug your website one more time. It's well, thank you so much. Sharon Goldman Music. Sharon Goldman Music com. You can find most things you would want to know about me there. <laughs> Otherwise, you can email me and ask me if there's anything else besides that. <laughs> okay, let's take it out with this. Let's take it out. Thanks so much for helping me out on this, Ralph. This is the title track from Sleepless Lullaby. Here we go. <laughs> It's 3 a.m. and I hear the rain Reminds me of the sound of that downtown train I saw his eyes as they closed the doors I knew I wouldn't see them no Oh, darkness of the night, you don't please me. I lie. 